Hello everybody and welcome back to another match day vlog once again on my channel today. It's my match day vlog of Weldstone FC versus Wrexham FC, which is being played at Grosvenor Vale, the home of Weldstone Football Club. And this is going to be a very interesting one today as Weldstone currently sit 23rd, which is bottom of the league at the minute. They're winless this season and their last game, we all know it was that 5-2 demolish and what is that word, um, of Stockport County. So they're not playing as well this season. They got a draw early on against Yeovil. But obviously they conceded five at home to Stockport. And Wrexham, we're currently sitting ninth. Um, one, two, lost two, so it's even. And our last game was that 1-0 loss at home to Maidenhead. Now, Maidenhead, we all expected when we faced them to win, and we didn't. So I'm going to take the same approach as we did to Maidenhead to Weldstone. I reckon we're going to win 1-0. But you never know. Anything can happen. Um, so come on, you Reds. I'm going for the 1-0 Wrexham win. We don't seem to score many. Um, but it's going to be a 1-0 Wrexham win. Goal scorer. Um, let's go Jamie Record. <laughs> let's stay Jamie Record to score the goal. And yeah, come on, you Reds. Let's do this. And let's get all three points. Come on, the lineups are out now. The Rex and lineups have been released. Right, get shitting into this. Goalkeeper, Rob Lainton. Right back, Reese Hall Johnson. Two centre backs, Theo Vassell and Fikra Kelher. The left back, Jamie Record. So again, the same back four we've played since the first game. Right wing, Elliot Durrell. I'm liking that start. It's two centre mids, Jay Harrison, Luke Young. I'm out of breath. Um expected that as well left wing Paul Rutherford comes in instead of Jordan Davis um and then we have a front two of Kwame Thomas and Adi Youssef again I think we should have played Pons Chani instead of Thomas and on the bench we've got Kristen Dibble James Horsfield Jordan Davis Devonte Redmond as well don't know where he's been but he's returned on the bench and Dan Jarvis so no sign of Pons Chani at all don't know what's going on there. Um, so yeah, they are the lineups. They will be on uh, on the screen, like around there somewhere. Um, so yeah, come on, you Reds, let's do this. Right, guys. So we have now kicked off at Weldstone's ground here. Wrexham are kicking from right to left. Weldstone or Wealdstone left to right. So yeah, come on, you Reds. I know we're going to get the three points today. Streamer uh, isn't the best, but I mean we're going to have to live with it. At least we can watch some football. And yeah, come on, you Reds. Eight minutes in here. At well in the game, and I'd say Weldstone have been by far the better team. Thomas and Yusuf up front. Uh I'm not sure to be honest. They've tried a couple of passes that have been slack. We've been we've been 50-50. I wouldn't say we've been at our best. Um Weldstone, if it carries on like this, I can see Weldstone actually winning this game. Don't look a bad team. So Rex and we really do have to get into the game. Right, Weldstone coming forward here. Den and Lewis. Oh, he's skinned him. Ball in. Charlie Wakefield, goal. 1-0. Oh, my God. Wildstone have made it 1-0. 15 minutes on the clock. Sh shocking defending from Wrexham there. Did him for pace on the wing. The finish, good finish. We expect him to score. Absolutely shambolic. Wildstone take the lead here after 15 minutes. Poor defending. We haven't got into the game. And, yeah, Wildstone have made it. Blowing 1 0. Wrexham coming forward here. Ball. Oh, he's, he's in! Wrexham have scored! Get in! It's 1 1. We've literally scored within 20 seconds of going behind. It's an own goal from the Weldstone player. Wrexham level. 1 1. Get in! What a way to respond to that goal. And yes, 1 1 here. Get in! It's an own goal. I'm not sure who it was. What game you have on the card? 16 minutes. Rexman made it 1-1. Come on, the town. What a response. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Rexman through again. It's Adi Youssef. It's squirming. Yes! 2-1 Rexham. It squirmed in across the line. 18 minutes played. Rexham are 2-1 up here at Grosvenor Vale. Get in! What a response to going 1-0 down. We've hit another one. It's a great goal from Yusuf. It trickled in. I didn't know if it was going in. I thought the defender was getting it. 
Get in, 2-1 to the Reds. Oh my God, this is an amazing game. Wrexham have scored two goals inside 20 minutes. Come on. What a start we've got. We've got three goals in three minutes. Well, three and four minutes. What is going on in this game? Come on, you Reds. We can get a third at this rate. Right, Wildstone are coming forward here again. It's a good header away from Wrexham. He's picked up on the edge here. He looks like he's going to shoot. He does. Oh, what a goal. Oh my gosh. It's two all here at Grows in the Vale. What a strike. I don't know who it was from, but we've conceded another one. And it's 2-2. Two -two. Oh, 22 minutes played. I genuinely don't know what's going on. This is such a good game from a neutral's point of view. It would be not for a blooming Wrexham fan. So it's 2-2 two -two here. It's an absolute worldie of a strike. No chance for Lainton. Oh my god, he's got a right to be happy. All my clips are goals. 2-2 two -two here at Grosvenor the Vale. I don't know what's going on, for God's sake. Wrexham have a chance here. It's Young. Ah, Young's lost out. And now Wildstone get it away. Wrexham are really putting on the pressure after conceding that last goal. I've got the headphones back in. Um, I can see this game getting to like 3-3 three -three before the first half. Every team, they're just attacking, attacking. Both look quite wide open in defence. Um, so yeah, what a game we've had so far. Right, so it is half time here at Grows in the Vale. Wellstone 2, Wrexham 2. We've had four goals in the first half. We've been treated inside the first half an hour. I'd say Wrexham, we've been the better side going forward. Both teams looking very open at the back. Could Wrexham have not conceded? I think we could have uh, done... Not conceded the first goal, especially Wellstone as well. They conceded the own goal. Um, so, yeah, 2-2 two -two at the break. I'm rooting the Wrexham boys to get the win in the second half. So, yeah, come on, you Reds. It's a promising first half and four-goal thriller. 55 minutes played here at Grosvenor Vale. I'm saying that a lot. Still 2-2. Two -two. 55 minutes played. 10 minutes in the second half played. Level, I'd say both teams have been playing the exact same style. Using the wings a lot. A couple of good chances for Wrexham. A couple of good chances for Wellstone. Dan and Lewis uh, had a good chance, had a good shot. Um, but I, th I can see some team nicking the win. And I think the full-time score is going to be 3-2. But I don't know which to, which team it will be to. So, fingers crossed it will be Wrexham. So, yeah, very level game. Right, Wellstone have a free kick here. I don't know who's on it. I think it's a player called Ben Yu. He's going to whip it in here. Oh, Fete scores. 3-2 Wildstone. Glancing header off, in off the post. Oh, Fete scores. He flicks on the header from the free kick. Blooming Wildstone go 3-2 up. 3-2 Wildstone here. We've got it all to do now. Oh, they've just said it's Alex Dyer's goal, so it's gone straight in from the free kick. Lucky scarf didn't work. 3-2 Wildstone. It's 4-2. It's 4-2. It's a Fetty again. It's 4-2 to Wildstone. This is embarrassing, Wrexham. We're losing to a team that have conceded five goals in their last match. How are we conceding four to them? They're not good. They've probably got one of the smallest squads in the league. This is embarrassing from a Wrexham fan's point of view. 4-2 here. This is sh shambolic. We need to sort something out. Six of few minutes is 4-2 to Wildstone. This is just absolutely shambolic. 80 minutes played and Wrexham have shown no signs of wanting to get back in this game. It's still the same old as when we were playing when we first kicked off the second half. Not creating enough chances. We've had one disallowed goal from a corner. But other than that, I can see Wellstone easily winning this game. If not getting a fifth. Um, we've just played absolutely shambolic. I'm saying shambolic a lot because that's the word to describe our performance. We are just, we are terrible. Absolutely terrible. Four minutes of added time here and Wrexham, after conceding the fourth goal, have been absolutely shocking. Overcooking every cross we've had. Slack passes, heavy touches, poor finishing. 
Kwame Thomas, they're all just dreadful in the air as well. It's just, if this is our performance every week for the rest of the season, I can tell you something, we are finishing 23rd, bottom of the league, because this is nowhere near good enough. This is not the standard we should be with this team. It is just absolutely shocking, um, and I'll see you guys at full time. Right, we've scored a goal, 93rd minute, Adi Yusuf scores. It's going to mean absolutely nothing. Fair play to Yusuf, that was a great finish, um, but it's too little too late. Adi Yusuf scores. 4-3 to Wellstone. Full time here at Groves in the Vale. It's ended Wellstone 4, Wrexham 3. Wow, 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 wow. We've scored three goals in a game but still managed to lose it. We've scored three goals but played absolutely shocking. Um, no words. Fair play to Wellstone. You look, a cracking team in that second half. You were poor in the first half but you came out a completely new team in the second. So fair play. Best luck for the rest of the season. And yeah, that is a poor loss for Exxon. Another one to take, a big blow. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. It's on the road to 1.5k subs. Look how close we are as well. I'll leave it down there. Um, and yeah, see you guys next video. Take care. Peace.